have a message from uh, uh, Mr. Mohamed Ali Tarkur, who is based in Sin. Um, he's a veteran Baruch activist and a uh, columnist uh, who writes for the Daily Times uh, on a regular basis. He and has, has been a part of the Baruch struggle for the past uh, four decades. He uh, was forced to live as a refugee in Afghanistan for 13 years between 1978 and 1991, escaping persecution in Pakistan. In Afghanistan, he got children and provided medical help as a paramedical. His family has a long history of association with the struggle for rights, and Mr. Tabur has been associated with the struggle since 1971. He, his brother, and several friends were on, who were also the wanted this show. He has a tribute to the Spirit of the and he has sent a message. Respected Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank the Royal Society and the UNPO for providing me the opportunity to present my views about Balochistan, their people and their plight. I will try to be brief. The Baloch people have suffered relentless repression and exploitation at the hand of Pakistani state since 27th March. 1948, the day they were forcibly annexed to Pakistan. Since then, they have seen the Pakistani state carry out five major operations against them, each being more extensive and more intense than the previous one. The Baloch resistance too has been on a qualitatively higher stage for each new phase of repression that Pakistan unleashed on them. They have neither been cowed nor been defeated and they have vowed to continue resisting Pakistan in all circumstances. Pakistan flouts all norms in its dirty war against the Baloch. There is a culture of impunity as no one in the international community challenges it. Even if it is challenged, it is challenged very mildly. It is certainly not going to give up the prized, resource-rich, strategically placed real estate that Balochistan happens to be. Mild reprimands are futile, and the only reason that Balochistan hasn't been totally colonized till now is that Baloch have resisted with their meager resources and thwarted its evil designs. It has now enlisted help of China to exploit Balochistan. Both will fail. It should now be quite apparent to the world that there is no hope of Pakistan ever reforming. It's incorrigible. All terror incidents are eventually traced back to it and those who feel or think that it will change, I hope these verses of Sheikh Saadi Shirazi, the great Persian poet, will convince them about its futility. The Persian words. Hej sekal nako naganat kar aha nera ke badgu har vashad chum bud asar johari kabal tarbiyat daru asar vashad सक बदरे आए हफ्ते गाना बोशोई के चुतरशुद पली तर बाशा खरे ही साल गरिश बमक्का बरं चुपी आए हनुस खर बाशा इस ट्रांसलेशन इस द बेस्ट ऑफ द वेट स्टोन्स विल यूजलेस बी इफ सॉर्ट्स ऑफ पिक आयरन शार्पन बी ट्रेनिंग एंड टेंपरिंग सर्व्स ओनली डोज ऑनरेबल ऑफ माइंड एंड सोल इफ दे बी a dog bathed in seven seas isn't a bit pure. For the better it gets, the uncleaner it turns out to be. If Isa of S for a Makkan trip taken be, an S it was, and an S it will always be. There's no hope of Pakistan ever shedding its colors or changing its track. The Baloch who have vowed 
to resist in every way. Balochistan is suffering doubly from isolation. One is the lack of international support, and the second, equally important, is the near blackout of Balochistan in the news media, inter, news media of the local media is mostly hand in glove with the state and mostly tries to justify the atrocities committed against the Baloch. It is thanks to UNPO and the Royal Society that there is a chance of being heard. For the local media, like one in Pakistan, Malcolm X had said, if you are not careful, the newspapers will have you hating the people who are being oppressed and loving the people who are doing the oppressing. That's how it is over there. I happen to moderate the Mr. Muhammad Hanif's book, The Baloch Who Is Not Missing and the Others Who Are, at the Karachi Literary Festival very recently. Muhammad Hanif is the author of, uh, the famous author of his a Case of Exploding Mango. In the book about Baloch, an interviewee, Sanam Baloch, the daughter of, of missing Dr. Deen Muhammad Baloch, asked Muhammad Hanif a very poignant question. If they want to hang my father, they should bring him to court, put him on trial and hang him in front of me. We will at least have the satisfaction of knowing that he is no more. But if they keep him alive for three years, four years, if they torture him every day and then kill him and dump his body, what is the point of death? I had put I had put her question to the panelists there and Muhammad Anif had rightly said that they do it because they can get away with it. But I feel there is another reason to they do this to physically and psychologically intimidate those Baloch who seek their rights and defy the might of the state. It is noteworthy that thousands of Baloch have gone missing since 1974. In 1974, Asadullah Mengel, son of Ataullah Mengel and his friend Ahmad Shah were abducted and never heard of them. As was my friend Dilip Das, while he was coming from Baluchistan to Sindh, was picked up at Belpat with a Murray friend, Shir Ali, and never heard of again. And they continue to go missing. More than 700 of the missing people have had their tortured bodies dumped all over Balochistan. But mind you, this brutality has not succeeded in intimidating the Baloch who continue to resist the repression and exploitation. They continue because they realize that giving up their rights, their land, their resources would make their life meaningless and pointless. Therefore they resist and struggle. For them, the ultimate prize is not their life, but their land, their history and culture. They know without these they would lose their mooring and bearing and would find themselves adrift without an identity and a reason to live. This struggle preserves and strengthens their identity. Their message to the state is that they will persevere and will eventually prevail. For them, the eximiotic and poignant Pablo Neruda quote, you can cut all the flowers but you cannot keep spring from coming has become their inspirational dictum. This is what the Baloch have come to believe and they will continue to struggle whatever may be done or whatever may be said. Thank you.